Like there you go. Oh, picture perfect. Oh, dude. Oh. Merry Christmas. Okay, let's stop talking. Let's start eating. Hello, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Are he does you the cooking. Sure, it's Paul Ken. And oh, then reviewing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and we have a special guest today, Santa Claus. Oh, 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 oh. That's supposed to be uh, like eggnog or something, isn't it? It's eggnog in a bottle, Kenny. Hey! <laughs> 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 All right, Paul. So, what are Santa? What are we cooking today? We're sir? doing a steak Diane flambe. And what is the process of that? The process is to get you some action. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get going then, shall we? Okay. So, I've got a beautiful strip loin steak cut. What I've done is I've cut up a bunch of them because we've got three all ready to go. And in the oven, what I've done is I've prepared some uh, roast potato and vegetables. So, I've had that into roasted ahead of time. So, okay. we're ready. When this steak's ready, we can throw it all together quickly. So what we're gonna do first, and I gotta show you the process on this because those are already done. So I've already cut the steak, trimmed off the fat. You can leave as much fat as you want or trim it right off, depending on whether you like that or not. So you're gonna take this beautiful steak, lay it on there. And you don't fold over, or it just doesn't matter how you do it? Well, because it's a bigger piece. So you wanna flatten this out nice and thin so it'll cook fast. So I'm just gonna beat my meat. I don't know if Santa should be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, look, you look like an elf in the workshop. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> With your little, little hammer there. <laughs> just make sure you don't put your hands in there. You really know how to beat that, sir. So when I'm done beating my meat. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, do you have to turn it over or it's a good idea or what? Yeah, just you want both sides to be consistent. And so. I noticed you also rotated the hammer. I did. Because the other one's going to flatten out. This is going to sort of tenderize. Okay, so and then, I just want people to see that. So one side has a little bumps on it and the other side doesn't. And then you just use them back and forth or flip it over oh, here and there. I don't know if I should be doing this because people are going to blow my cover. <laughs> I'm so thirsty though. That eggnog is nice, eh? Great eggnog. My, my go-to. <laughs> Someone was saying we should do all the Lagunitas on uh, as a review, but the only problem is I think this is all we can get in Canada. Oh really? So we might have to do a run to the states and get some maybe. Hey, I have a plan on that. Mm. So I'm gonna show you the setup here. Right. We're gonna reshow. So we can do the flambe on a stove, and if you don't have gas, I can show you a way to do it. <laughs> if you don't have gas, <laughs> you can always use a lighter to light the flame. Um, so we got everything laid out here. This is a very simple, fast, impressive meal because you have flambe. So if you're uh, with your significant, significant other <laughs> and you want to do a nice, impressive meal there, try this. This is great. Fantastic. I'm just worried about that beard. I'm just, <laughs> I just got to stand back because I can light the ceiling up. Yes. So we're going to get that heating up. So I'm just going to put some butter in there. It's going to take a minute to heat up because it's not as fast. If I did it on the stove, it would be super fast. A little bit of slower heat. More enjoyable. More just time. take the, the uh, pan off just to show people what's going on underneath there. So it's just uh, a Yeah, so I can control fuel. the flame. So I've got it opened right up because I want to get I want to get this thing nice and hot before I put the steak in. So once once this is melts and starts to bubble, it'll be time to put the steak in. Uh, cognac's a, a pretty straightforward... Uh, it's common with like a gravy, like in, as a base. Right. Um, there's a lot of desserts that they're flambéing with. Grand Marnier, you can flambé Kahlua, anything with the alcohol. Now the, the key is to get it hot. So I'll show you the technique once it's in the pan and ready to go and what to sort of look for because if the pan's too hot and the, the alcohol is sparking, you can have a giant flame which can kind of startle you. You want it just a nice, nice rolling flame across. You don't want it too small, but you're, you're going to use the heat of the side of the pan to get that flame rolling. And it's all, it's all on the tilt of the pan. So we'll, we'll look at the ceiling now, the and then look at the down. ceiling later with the black burn marks. So I've covered the bottom with butter. You can see it's starting, oh, to, it's starting to bubble now. That's so I'm just going to take this beautiful New York strip that I pounded out. That I had the pleasure of beating. I think those, those sleeves are just dangerous. This is yeah. I'm gonna catch. I'm gonna catch fire just for you. Just for you. The ratings will go crazy. Like, no, you killed Santa Claus. 
Claus! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put a bit of salt and pepper on that because it's gonna take a minute to get going. We can do is probably do a beer review. I'm, this is making me nervous. It is making me nervous. Jeez. I'm just gonna put a bit of salt and pepper on here. I won't stop videotaping a, oh. if, you, if you catch fire. My pink Himalayan salt and my sleeve just went in the mustard. Oh, perfect. Oh. See, this is why you're not cooking. This is not a typical chef's outfit. <laughs> Belhaven Black Scottish Stout. Because I know you do like stouts. And this one I sampled the other... Listen to that. That's the widget releasing the nitrogen. Luke, I am your faja. Wait, wrong outfit. <laughs> this one you're going to find. This is really creamy. You get a uh, real strong um, vanilla nose. You get hints of chocolate. It's actually... Uh, having these the other night. It's quite good. All right, Paul, cheers. Cheers. That looks uh, very much like a Guinness. Very dark. Mm. Well, it's exactly like a Tasty. Guinness looking. Let's try it. Creamy, a little yeah. bit sweet. I'd say it's sweeter than Guinness. Definitely sweeter than Guinness. It is brewed and it is actually brewed in Scotland. Very nice. Very nice, very nice uh, stout. <sighs> There's a flip now. You can see the a bit of blood coming through now. It's starting to turn. Look at that. Nice. That over. I'm going to put some diced onion in here on each side of this, just around. How's that smell, Kenny? It smells absolutely fantastic. And while that's like that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a little dollop of Dijon mustard on top. I'm going to use the fork that I was using for the inside. I'm just going to move it, mix this onion around. You see if it's cooking nice now. Oh, oh, this is going down too good. Yeah. Okay. Before we hit the cognac, we could probably do one more. All right. Because it is close to Christmas, sir. <laughs> Look at how nice that is. So I'm just going to coat this side now. I'm going to do the same. And because I want it nice medium rare, I'm just going to take this off for a second because we want to oh, cook the mushroom. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. 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 We're going to put our mushrooms in there because Ken loves mushrooms. Oh, yes. And mushrooms are good. There's no if, buts, or ends about that one. What I'm going to do, because we're going we're gonna to be drinking this next, so I'm going to put a little bit of a splash of wine in there. Just a touch. Just a touch. No, Dan Aykroyd's. Yeah, we're going to have some Dan Aykroyd. Nice. Because he is Canadian, and we all love him in Canada. <laughs> Here's to you, Dan. Let's spread the mushrooms around. Kind of like spreading love here. Well, that's love. Okay. That is love. Right there is pure love. If you look into that pan. You even put the foodies on. Or is it all one piece? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you came down to Santa was doing this out of your chimney, you'd be like, what the? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Get your reindeer off my roof. What the heck is going on? Mmm. Now that's yummy. I know you want to eat a mushroom, Ken. Mmm. I already stole a few. Did you? Yeah. Looking good, man. Oh, that smells divine. Oh, excuse me. I'm burping, too touch of pepper in there. Now we can just drink while the mushrooms are sauteing. Here, Ken, I want you to lay back. We're just going to pour this down your gullet. Oh. <laughs> it's like this all salt. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it all. Boys and girls. I just want to start chugging that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm steaming up my land. It's so good. <laughs> Cream? uh, creamy at 35%. Nice and rich. I'm gonna let that reduce. Just a little bit of fresh chopped parsley in there. So I'm just gonna mix this around. Look at the color, how it's gonna change with the cream. This is the, this is our sauce now. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And then we're gonna set this bad boy right back in there. Should I stand back? No, you won't have to because there's so much liquid in here. So what I have to do is I want to get close to the edge because 
I could have flambéed before putting the sauce in. Like in the restaurants, what we do is there's this. Is, I got four portions in there, so there's a lot in there. So I'm gonna try and do is get most of the liquid in there because it's gonna be hard. You want it to boil? Sleep. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh... So you want it right on the edge. That's well, flambéing. Yeah, but it's not. It's not a big. If dish. you wanted, yeah, because if it was. I've got so much liquid in there, it's going to mix in almost instantaneously. Actually, she could have done like a little show. Actually, you know what I can do? I can take it out once the things are out and show you like the techniques of doing it. Definitely. Because now there's a lot of sauce. And once the sauce is in, there's a lot of sauce. If there was light in the sauce, where it's just coating the bottom of the pan, you're putting that in. Once you tilt it in, you get the hot spot in the corner of the pan, and you just want it right on the edge. And that's where it's going to, it's going to get hot and ignite and come across the uh, pan. So I'm going to put all four in there now, or all three, just so it's heated. And then we'll be ready to plate it. I'm losing my mind right now, just to give you a heads up. Oh, look at, look. I'm looking. I'm gonna get it all in there. We're gonna put that in there too. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. You hungry, Kenny? Oh my gosh, I'm like losing my mind right now. The smell is intoxicating. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, we're ready to plate it. We're gonna put some stuff on a plate. Tell us how you did some of these things. Okay, so did I explain this earlier? I can't remember. To me, but so I, I just yeah. So I, I put the potatoes just to speed things up because while we're you know it's all about presentation. So when you have your significant other at the table, you can right. try to impress. This is all done ahead of time. It's very simple. I just toss the uh, potatoes, uh, garlic, salt, pepper, um, parsley, a little bit of olive oil. And then the same with this. And I'm gonna, so what you can do is once it's ready, it Those was carrots, an hour. Those carrots are very interesting looking with the little greeny top on them. Beautiful, top. isn't it? Very nice. Very nice touch, sir. So then you can come back, get your plate ready, and then we're gonna put the rest on the plate. And then we're gonna start eating this deliciousness. And then if you notice, because of the color, that's the, what I'm using, I went from, usually sometimes I always do contrast. So if there's white stuff, I use a black plate. So I wanna contrast the colors to make them stand out all oh, right okay so i got beautiful green that's why i chose the carrots and the green bean because it's a contrast in color and then i was going to do whoops oh that almost got away from me i was going to do a red skin potato i was like you know what let's do this because it'll brown nice what kind of uh, potato was it then? these are the new potatoes so i was going to do potato. red skin wow Who's the fourth? P2's here too. Oh, but is he one? No, he this? doesn't want it. He's just gonna eat in his- He in just his... wants to eat on his P2 own. P2 gets to eat in his bedroom like that. Wouldn't you love to have a dad like that, people? Jeez. I bumped into one of the neighbors at uh, the market. Like Vince is there. Oh. <laughs> and she's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm getting dinner. She's, what are you doing tonight? I said, steak Diane Flambe. She's like, <laughs> she's like, that's your regular dinner. She goes, are you kidding me? I said, well, we're doing, the, we're doing the cook and review tonight. She's like, oh. I said, I'll send you a picture over. But you like, know, who does that on a normal Everyone's over last night. Uh, I had, because it's my middle son's birthday so coming up. And he's going to be out of town. So, oh, look at it. Use up all that. Look at that. You might want to take a picture, Kenny. Oh, I'm definitely going to take pictures. There we go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. And then look if you want that. perfection, see there I got, that sh we shouldn't have that. So you just want to. All right. You always want to take. You clean your plate. You always want to clean it. You want to, it's, it's all about the presentation. If it's spillage, clean it. Yeah. I'm just going to take it out right in there. Look there you it. go. Oh, picture perfect. <gasps> Paul, dude. Oh. Merry Christmas. Okay, let's stop talking. Let's start eating. <laughs> all right, Paul, you're going to do one okay. flambe for yeah. us? So we got the pan nice and hot. So usually there wouldn't be near as much stuff because you've got one steak in there and you got a little bit of mushrooms in there. So you want to use one, you can see how it's bubbling in there. So once it's getting hot on the edge, that's what that's the effect you're gonna oh, get. Oh, very nice. So if you want a super high flame, you get it sizzling on the edge, and you can just roll the pan like that. But you, but the whole technique is that once the liquor is on the edge and it hits the hot pan, it's gonna spark and it's get right under the flame. It's gonna ignite and then roll across the pan. And it goes out by itself, as opposed to you having to extinguish. Oh, it. she'll yeah, she goes out on its own. So that's the trick. Nice. And if you have an electric stove, get it nice and hot. Same thing. Tilt the pan so it's sparking on the so the pan's nice and hot, and just put a lighter there, and she'll light right up. Sweet. Now there. And what does the actual flambe do? 
What's that? Like, is it just it's, for theatrics, or is it? You're burning, the, you're taste? burning the alcohol out of the out of the out of the liquor because that's, okay. what, that's the actual burning out. But it's the fla it's the flavor that's left behind. Like, okay. it's, just, it's delightful. Nice. So what we, we can do is we can drink some of this too. All right. All right, Paul has plated this absolutely <laughs> fantastic <laughs> meal. He's got some wine. We got some cognac happening. We're gonna be doing pretty much everything tonight. All right. Thank you. I was, you. I was you, just Santa. thinking in my head. I'm like. If you had a starter's pistol, I'd be disqualified because I would jump the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are joined by Marc Andre once again. He could not pass up this meal. Oh, actually. No. actually, he was surprised. He, he wanted the food, but he wasn't sure if he was going to be in the video until his dad. Oh, yeah, I came downstairs to see two mall Santas just pre preparing a table. I'm like, uh, <laughs> KBD production special. Oh, yeah. So, what do we start with? Do we start with a little sip or do we start oh, right into I the I don't food? even know. Let's, uh, let's have a sip first and cheers. Okay. Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas. To the Pepsiest. Merry of Christmas wine. to all the viewers there. Merry Christmas. Happy, bon appetito. Happy Hanukkah and uh, best wishes. Oh. Thanks for all your support on uh, uh, Cook and Review. So let's dig in. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of everything if I can. I know what you're going to get. I got some. Oh, you're going to mix it all up. Oh, boy. First piece, I'm going to try and get as much. Uh, the only thing I don't have on this is potatoes. Mmm. Wow. I honestly feel like if this was a race, I could win. <laughs> I would gladly lose. I want to take all the time yes. I can eat in this. I was about to say the exact mm. same thing. I just like, I just want to savor this every little bite. Mmm. So I'm not, just in case you guys are wondering about the, 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 the taste of alcohol in this, I don't taste any cognac, do you? Like mm. the alcohol, though. I do. You actually taste alcohol. I taste the cognac. You can taste cognac, but you can't taste alcohol. I remember when I was a kid, I had um, uh, what was it called? Duck Orange, and oh. I couldn't eat it because the guy didn't either flambe it enough. Yeah. So it had a very alcoholic taste to it. It's mm. funny because I wouldn't have guessed that there was alcohol in it until you mentioned. Like I did taste like a bit of the flavor. I'm like, what kind of gravy did he use here? Like I was ready to ask, mm. and you mentioned alcohol. I'm like, you ready? Show off your steak. That steak is cooked to perfection. That's exactly how I like my steak done. Paul nailed it. Mm. I don't share, especially not off cameras. <laughs> so in a restaurant, what did you say that would cost? Probably run you 40 bucks. Because you actually have the cook right beside you usually the whole time. Mm -hmm. Most places do that or? Mm -mm -mm. No, just some places. The place you worked at did it. Mark Andre, any thoughts right off the top, sir? Mm. Gotta say, I'm really loving it. Did you uh, cook the steak medium rare or rare? Medium rare. Medium rare. Yeah. And you're like Personally, like I prefer my steaks rare, rare. Like, a bit more like. Oh, a little bit more rare. Juicy yeah. inside, but it's still very well done, especially with like uh, the gravy on top, much of the cognac. The potatoes are cooked just right. So yeah, no complaints from me. Excellent, Paul. Any anything you would change on that, or did you did you feel you did the best job you could possibly do? That's the bomb. That's the bomb. All right, guys. Paul, Mark, Andre, and I are gonna polish these off. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Uh huh. Uh huh. Although it's gonna be fast, we're gonna eat it nice and slow. Hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, I told Paul again, this was my number one meal that he's cooked, and he's like, how many do you have? I'm he's like, got like all of them. number one. I go, Paul, you have a lot of 10 out of 10s on my list so far, uh, and this is definitely one of the top 10s that he's done on this show. Absolutely fantastic. Brother, Marc Andre, thanks for being Mark on the Andre. show. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do a little, we're gonna do like a little test. Who gets the clean plate award? Ooh. Uh, I'm trying to hide my I yeah, actually He just said he wanted to get more bread because yeah. he was going certain. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. He, let's show you. Show oh, your boy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you up on it. And oh, bronze. You're going you're gonna to learn from your mistakes. So I get plain, uh, number one clean plate award. Paul left a few little. I even ate that. You ate the little end salad. You, you, it took a lot of time for you to make that food, and I ate all of it. Hang on. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm not done. Are oh, you not done? Oh. That's how good it is. The demi glass with the 35% cream. I win! <laughs> that 
that was the best thing to watch. <laughs> <in your life. laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this was an absolutely amazing meal. Please try the recipe. Uh, give Paul. I'm all uh, stained. <laughs> Give Paul a congratulations on this meal in the comments below. Marc Andre, uh, any last thoughts on this meal? Uh, yeah. Well, first of all, love the steak. I had to just tackle that thing first. Of course, this is the main thing to the meal, obviously. Yeah. But just having to be able to mix in the potatoes or like mushrooms or just whatever you want into all one bite yeah. with the gravy, the cognac mixed in the gravy. Great. I cannot have cognac itself as we just, <laughs> you just had saw cognac there. for his first time. <laughs> Mix it with the gravy, it's just, just fine. Like, Wait till he gets excellent. older. That's funny because I was going to suggest that. I was going to say, he took a little sip of Paul's cognac and he was just like, ah, that's yeah. disgusting. So it was like cream powerful. Powerful. But in the food, yeah, just great. Perfect. Because well, it was the flavor. Down, getting the, that, yes. that aroma also, the flavor, so. make sure you have dipping bread ready. This yes. is great to dip with. I'm probably going to just chop myself up some more after that. Yeah, and you'll you'll hopefully do a better job oh, at, yeah. our, at, our, at your plate than our plate. And then you'll hit the other plate because my youngest son took a look at what I made and went, Unbelievable. Ugh, and he made himself Mr. Noodles. Ooh. Imagine having Paul as your father makes you this and then he goes and makes a Mr. This Noodles. This is what my heart looks like when, my, when, they, when I get that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Well, cheers. Cheers. Absolutely fantastic meal. Again, guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, safe holidays, whatever you do during this time of the year. Uh, from us to you, uh, thank you very much for supporting this channel, uh, supporting this show. We and remember, it. if you like it, click the thumbs up. Click the thumbs up. But before and that, let us know. Oh. If, if you don't want to miss anything, you have to click the uh, subscribe button, which is usually down there now. But Somewhere what were you going to say? You want to go for the thumbs up thing? I like just doing the thumbs up. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. But if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding. And we'll see you next time. Another can Paul, Marc Andre. Santa Claus. Food review. Can Santa and Marc Andre out. <laughs>